I will love you and honor you and honor you all the days of my life. All the days of my life. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good time. In good time. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. I will love you. I will love you. And honor you. And honor you. All the days of my life. You have declared declared your consent before the church. I didn't really, didn't really know how to go about doing it at all, so um, I just, of course, left it to Google. So I went ahead and just picked some random speech offs, so hopefully that this will come out right. I didn't actually pre-read it, so hopefully it'll come out good. Right. Here we go. My sister Chloe, and, and Chloe. All right, we're gonna do this the other way. Let's go by the heart. Well. So Brian and I, of course, are brothers, and you know things have always, you know, been between him and I, we've always been like really close. So even at an early age, you know, being an older brother, he's always been taking care of me. You can actually tell a story about he actually changed my diaper uh, when we were both kids. He's a year and a half older than me. And I'm, gonna, I'm sure my mom was surprised by seeing it. My dad was surprised. He used a whole box of baby wipes, <laughs> the entire box. Can you believe it? Hey, but I was clean. I don't even know if the diaper was fully put on, but it was it was on, I think. That was like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, my speech, okay? And you know, ever since growing up, he's always been there for me. You know, I got to learn a whole bunch of different things by watching him grow up. I watched him knock over a vase, and my parents get mad at him, and I'm like, mm, don't do that. And then he, you know. All these other things, he would get in trouble. I'm like, oh yeah, yeah, keep going, Brian. Keep going. I, I don't. I want to learn what not to do. I'm sure Matthew learned a whole lot from that as well. So, thank you, by the way. I also learned how to be late to almost everything. Woo! We would have been late over here as well. You're welcome. 
So I got to learn a whole lot of bunch of different things from him. And he's, he's always been looking after me. Even whenever I had my tonsils removed, he was always there at 4 o'clock in the morning to deliver medicine to me. He's the only one that stayed up and messed up his sleep schedule. And I was in so much agony. And I remember him closing the door whenever he was leaving and saying, you know, you know I'm, I'm here for you and I love you. And I'll be here in six more hours to give you your next dose to make sure you're comfortable. And he's always there for me. And it means a lot because I think family is very important, as we all probably know here. And brotherhood is also very important because it's probably something that you know is very special to between us and you know all my other brothers and sisters here. And I think this whole wedding thing is about something that's something that's new, something that you've never had before. And the reason why I bring this up is because Marina, I know that you don't really like have siblings or you know brothers, but I mean you have siblings now. And most importantly, you know, you have my brother, who I think is the best older brother that I could ever have. So you get to have him. But most importantly, she has a husband. And she has love. We all know that, you know, marriage is all this marriage is not about finding someone that you can live with. It's all about finding someone that you can't live without. And I know that today, Brian's and Money have that in their life. Thank you. Uh, the oldest brother is always remembered because he's the oldest. This is my parents' first child. Uh, I was the youngest, so I got the pleasure of being, of being the baby. And somewhere in the middle, he, I don't know what happened, bro. He just got lost. <laughs> Doesn't really count. All right. Um, Brian, my, my oldest brother, Brian, uh, he was the first of a lot of things for us. Uh, when he turned 16, he could drive. And at that point, he became the, the taxi cab. For us all the brothers we want to go somewhere we go actually mother i hate to say it but brian let me drive at the age of 13. Uh, it was brian the one in the passenger seat i promised you at 16 and a half brian got his first job he was the oldest of us so he became the international bank of all the brothers we all ran to brian robbed his piggy bank uh, which we haven't repaid to this day it was, it was always intended to but we just haven't gotten to that yet uh, at the age of 21 the greatest part brian got to be the, the bartender he had to go to the jigger for us, and he went and bought some alcoholic beverages, and it was the best, best ever. Uh, we, we've always looked up to Brian. Uh, he is late to everything, but I hope you know he's fashionably late. And he shows up, and he knows what he wants to do, and, and Brian's going to have it his way. And uh, we've always looked up to your brother, and I love you to death. And, and where we are today, is, it, it's, it starts at the top, and it trickles down. And he had a big responsibility. I'm the youngest, and it all snowballed, snowballed down to me, and I got the, the honor of being at the bottom and, and seeing and learning from all my older siblings, and it, it's, it's really an honor. I wouldn't be where I'm at without you today. Uh, to Marina, as many of y'all do know, Marina and I are the same age. We graduated high school together. What many of y'all don't know is I probably said a total combined 20 words to her in high school. I never talked to her. I came home one, uh, one day and I, I walked in the door to the living room and I saw her sitting on the couch next to my brother. And I'm like, did I just walk into the wrong house? I, I, like, well, uh, I have no idea what's going on here. Uh, come to find out they were dating. And that's when me and Marina became really close to uh, waiting in line at midnight release movies at the movie theater before we were served seating. We had actually waited in line. So we got there very early to, to sitting at the end of the dinner table where we were all laughing uncontrollably. Uh, it was then that I realized that I missed out on a, on a great friend in high school. That if I wasn't too stubborn at the time, I would have learned that. But I have you now, and that's all that counts. So I, I love y'all, and I wish y'all the best in, in y'all's future. I just wish you the best. And uh, it was a privilege to be your major of honor to stand up with you. And I just wish you the best. I love you, and I know that's true now, Brian. I got to see that today. I told myself I was going to cry, but I just wish you the best because you're my little baby, and this your new chapter. It's your true love. So I came here today with a big poem that I was going to speak and I just dropped it and thought I'm going to speak from the heart. And um, I didn't grow up with any siblings, so my family and my cousins became my siblings and Marina was always closest to me. And I remember I'd always 
call her when something was great and something was terrible and we would just share so many things. We would share so many fun summers together and so many great memories and Austin and Corpus and Alice and I don't know, it should just warm my heart when I see you two together and um, I'm just really honored to be here today and just to watch you grow as a woman since we're roughly the same age so we kind of grew together and I'm just really proud to I used to call you, you my prima, but now I call you my sister. And I think it's a really beautiful thing that I share with you. And I love you two very much. And Bryant, don't hurt her. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so I know you two will do great. They're perfect for each other. Anime conventions and all. Y'all are awesome. So, all right. Okay, hello. My name is Miranda Trevino, and I'm the last speech, okay? So, Marina, you know me, I can't go into anything unprepared, so I wrote down something. <laughs> so, Marina and Brian, you have found your person, you have found each other. A love that knows no bounds, and we have seen that since day one of your baby. Your love is unconditional, and we wish you nothing but love and happiness. So, let's all raise a glass to Marina and Brian. May your happily ever after be never ending. Cheers. One more time, guys. Let's get a round of applause. Make it loud. Let's go. Come on. Yeah, give it up. 